On the weekend, I drove one and a half hours to the border of Malaysia, and then I caught a taxi 45 minutes to the city of Satun. And in Satun is the team Satun FC. And how I know this team is because my ex-teammate, which I played with six years ago, his nickname is Boss. He is the captain of this team. So you'll see what it's like living in a small little city in Thailand. And then also I went to his training. I will show you the whole training and what they do in their session. And also at the end of the training session, I interviewed two foreign players, one from Brazil. He told us how it is to live in, live in the country, how he got a trial and all that good stuff and also the Asian import from South Korea. So I've just arrived in Satorn eating some noodle soup over here at this stall. So this is typical cuisine that you would eat in Thailand, these little stores. A beautiful noodle soup, great broth, can't go wrong. So right now waiting for a boss to pick me up. I haven't seen this guy in six years. So when I first joined my team in Chumpon FC, I was staying with the Thai players in a dormitory just for two nights while I was trialing. And this young boy, he came up to me and he, he couldn't speak much English, but he put on his phone and it translated to English and it was beware of the stolen. So he was telling me beware of my belongings because some people might steal my stuff. Um, haven't seen him for six years. He was playing in my team, he's a midfielder, very good player, and now he's captain of this team, Satun. And they're playing the fourth division, and they're top of the table, and they want to go to the third division. Now I'm captain of Satun, big player, huh? <laughs> Before small boy, but now big boy. And now we're on the way to the stadium. He's got training, 4 p.m. Very hot. Really, really hot. Yeah, and then I think finish maybe, what time is normal? 6.30 p.m. So quite a long training session, two and a half hours. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stadium of Satun. It is a nice field. There in the background at the top is the mountains. Over that mountains is Malaysia. So it's 4 p.m. when the boys come out and they always start with circle ball in Thailand. This truck just came with two massive ice blocks and I assume it's for ice bath after. At 4.30, the coach got the boys together and was talking about the previous game, which was two days ago. And today was just a tactical session, so it was quite easy. And then they went into their own individual dynamic stretching. After this, they did some basic passing drills. So they pass to a player, he turns. And then he passes it to the next player, turns, passes it to the next player. You know, for those outside um, that haven't played in Thailand before, you think fourth division would be bad, but trust me, if you come here, you will be shocked at the level. These boys are training every day, so of course they're gonna be good. And a lot of people think that they can play in Thailand, but it's not the case. And also to compete with the foreigners, you look at the size of these guys, it's not easy to get a spot in a team. So some of the other boys had to do some extra work with the head coach. So here you have a square and there's two boys in the middle. They have to work together in a pair to try and win the ball. And the players on the outside only have two touch. And for the players on the outside, you have to always be moving up and down your line. If you st stand static, it's not good for your teammate. Always moving after you pass provide another option. So after this, the other boys, they did a fun little activity, big circle, and they only allowed one touch, and there's two players in the middle. If you stuff it up, then you go into the middle. And these two players in the middle put pressure on the players on the outside. So as you can see, there was a truck before that brought these big blocks of ice, and they chucked them in here for the boys to have ice baths after training. It was 5.30 when the coach did some tactical work with the boys for around 15 minutes and then they practiced it on the field. So the coach was making sure that the players were in the right position. When the ball is on the right side, he made sure that all the other players were 
moving in relation to this ball. So not too close to other players and not too far apart. And he also lined out cones so that the boys were aware of how far the distances are between each player. So at 6.20 the boys finished, there's Boss in the middle, captain talking to the boys about the game and yeah that's the typical training in Thailand. This is Joe, before I play with Hi. Joe. My good friend, we played together six years ago so I know two players in this team. Pretty yeah. big for you. Alright, so I'm with Kayo. Kayo is from Brazil? Yeah, I'm from Brazil. Bro, how did you come to Thailand to play? So I come to Thailand from my friend from church, yes. Brazilian church, and he starts to talk with a gent from Thailand. Yes. And they ask me if I want to come to play. Yes. It's very far from my country. I say yes, because he, in Brazil the small clubs sometimes don't pay you money and it's very difficult to live there with without money mm -hmm. and then I okay I'm coming to Thailand to 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 start to, to play foot, football Thai and I have big dream here to now I play in T4 yeah. I want to play in Thai Premier League I know it's very difficult but this is my dream and I when I come to Thailand, I didn't speak any language, English and Thai. Yeah. And I start, start English myself and on YouTube, internet. Then I now I can understand a little bit Thai and English. And Thai, Thai country is very amazing. And when you came to Satuan, how long did you have to trial for? Two weeks. Two weeks. I tried two weeks. Yeah, because I have some coach, they know me already. Then I come here to to play, to trial. Two weeks, then I sign because I hear good things about Satun. And the language, is it hard communicating with the players? Yes, not now, but before it's very difficult, I think, to go back to my country because I cannot communication and when I start to, to study, okay, I'm feeling better and I play very well. Before I didn't understand any coach. The yeah. coach say, we go left, I go right. Ah, and okay. Now I understand a little bit Thai and I feel okay. Do you recommend other foreign players coming to Thailand or is it difficult? I already bring my friend, Brazilian friend, to play here in Thailand. Okay. He very like to to live in Thailand and to play in Thailand, yeah. then I recommend for sure to play, to come to play in Thailand. All right, thank you, bro. All right. How did you come to uh, Satuan to play in Thailand? Uh, I was in high school. I was looking for a team, but I was looking for a team. And then I was looking for an agent. I was looking for a team. How long did you trial for? 2017년에 제가 BTU 팀에 있을 때 사톤이랑 경기를 해서 좋은 모습을 보여가지고 뭐별 그런 거 없이 그냥 바로 오게 됐어요. What is the difficulty for playing in Thailand? 어 제일 어려운 부분이 언어적인 부분인데 저는 생활을 태국 애들이랑 하다 보니까 뭐 금방 조금씩 배우고 계속 배우고 있고 공부도 하고 있고 영어도 조금씩 하긴 하는데. 좀 여기서 사용하기엔 좀 많이 힘든 것 같아요. 그리고 뭐 음식 같은 경우는 뭐 고수 같은 것만 안 들어가면 괜찮은 부분도 있고 뭐 편하고 정말 좋은 것 같아요. Okay, awesome. Thank you, bro. All right. Do local players have agent? Some players have agent, but many many players no have. So the coach just called them. Yes, just called. Ah, okay. If coach no, you coach call. Okay, understand. What is your goal in football? What you want to achieve? I want to play in top league in Thailand or go to play in outside in plenty. Okay. Uh, Which country? Malaysia or Singapore or Vietnam. Okay. All right. Boss is going into the bath with the big blocks of ice. Hot? Really cool! If you don't go in here, how much you must pay? Fine. 
500 baht. 500 baht. So how much this US dollar? 100 US dollar? Yes. Yeah, if you don't go into the bath after training. Important. Every, every day. Every day, recovery. Very good. Boss, many people that watch my YouTube video, they want to come to Thailand to play. Can you give them advice when they come to test? When you come to test in Thailand, different in Europe, in uh, South Korea, in Japan, different because in Thailand, really hot. You need to need to more power. You train hard for come to test because when you come to test, water or David, it's here, right? Or raining when it rains. Ah, uh, when you rain, you need to. Be fit, you need to have power. Yes. So important you get very fit yes, before you come. Important. Okay, understand. So this is dinner. Boss is having some spicy stuff and a coconut shake. The famous pad thai. Okay, right now we're getting some mango sticky rice, cow nyo. One of my favorite desserts. But yeah, guys. How, how to say? <laughs> so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is how uh, Thailand is in a small city if you're playing in like the third or fourth division. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, thanks for boss seeing him again, showing us around. You want to say anything boss? You don't forget to subscribe for this video. Subscribe for this video if you haven't already. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time. Ciao. Uh...